Palmer. Let's start with Lad McConkey though. Uh, he's made a little bit of a reconnaissance this off season as Jim Nagy was watching some film on the guy and learned something about number 84 that we already know. He's a baller. Yeah, I mean, you're right. We we absolutely do know that having seen him play uh, at an incredibly high level uh, the last two seasons, uh, last year especially, being a big part of that passing game. Not that he wasn't in, uh, in 2021, but I think losing Jermaine Burton and Lab McConkey becoming a bigger part of that offense in 2022 uh, really helped out his his film and helped out his draft stock. And, and I mean, we were having serious conversations about whether Ladd was going to go three and out after redshirting his first year and not playing at all his first year and being an, a complete afterthought. Um, so that says a lot about the kind of player that he is. Um, you know, so sometimes I think being invited to the senior bowl, having to go to the senior bowl, I think some people can see that as a knock, um, you know, but to me, you know, there's lad doesn't have to go. He can, he's proven it in the sec. Uh, and he's probably going to prove it again this year. I think it's a, you know, big testament to the kind of player that he is that he's receiving this kind of conversation. He's, you know, barely six feet tall and 185 pounds. You, you just don't expect that from a guy like lad, um, you know, drawing all the, the Patriots wide receivers comparisons. <laughs> Well, it could be a Philadelphia Eagle. Um, I think Jim Nagy certainly wants Ladd McConkey to attend the Senior Bowl. Maybe this was his recruiting pitch. We got the tweet from Nagy up on the screen, and here's what he said. This guy, Georgia football wide receiver Ladd McConkey, generated good discussion among a group of former NFL players during tape study session at day one of Senior Bowl Scout School yesterday. Uh, I wonder what Scout School looks like. Yeah, we, I wonder how intense we, we, that they is. They weren't invited to Scout School. No, we didn't get to uh, bring our backpacks and brand new pencil boxes to uh, scout school. But Nagy says, we predict he's far more talented than many people will give him credit for in early stages of pre-draft process, perhaps until they see him up close in Mobile. Um, there's the invitation that I was referring to. Plenty to like on junior tape. High 4-3, low 4-4 four, four play speed. Can accelerate and decelerate. I think we can all do that. Gets deep, creates after the catch. Outside, inside position flex, sturdy. Um, that's a good trait. Highly competitive blocker. You have to be if you're going to play receiver at Georgia. No doubt. And next level um, putt return skills. So he says if Lab McConkey cleans up some untimely drops, he'll have a chance to ascend to top 100 prospect by next April. You know, Wes, um, I'll, I'll be honest. The I did not put punt return together with PR. I was like, what do you think it was? Public I was relations. Like, he's, he's really good at public relations. I mean, <laughs> I you know that, that's the, that's the journalism major in me. No, but I mean, having talked to Lad uh, many times, you know, he, he's really good with the media. So he probably would be pretty good at PR. Oh, I don't doubt it. Um, I want to pull up another tweet on top of that one uh, from Terrence Edwards, who quote tweeted. Jim Nagy, and if you're not on Twitter, I apologize. This is a lot to keep up with, I understand. Uh, but here's what Terrence Edwards, the dog's great himself, had to say. He said, Lad was a quarterback in high school, and he started training with me to prepare for his transition to wide receiver. The first thing that I noticed was his natural ability to catch the football. He's an athlete, man. I think his drops are a blip, not a trend. Going off of the Terrence Edwards comments there, and – you know, him being the only thousand yard receiver in Georgia history, I've come out and said, I think Georgia is going to have one this year, uh, you know, with a, with a quarterback um, whose whose skill set probably trends a little bit more that way than it does, you know, being a, a mobile threat um, like Stetson was not, you know, underestimating Carson Beck's athleticism a little bit. But I think that he's got a really good arm and I think that Georgia is going to use that. And I think that Georgia is going to have a thousand yard receiver. And I think Lab McConkey is one of three possibilities for it. Brock Bowers, Lab McConkey, and Dominic Lovett. Um, you know, I mean, look, look at, and, and he got close to it last year. I mean, it wasn't as close as, as some, um, you know, 
Bowers was still ahead of him, but I mean, to finish with 762 yards and 58 catches while Brock was having the season that Brock did. Um, and while having multiple down games. Yeah. I mean, seven touchdowns. And you look at when those touchdowns came, um, you know, he added two touchdowns on, on rushing attempts too. So nine touchdowns on, on the season. You know, had two in the season opener against Oregon. Georgia needed it then. Um, you know, he had a big day against South Carolina, four catches, 52 yards. And, and even amidst, a, you know, not so great game against Kent State with, with fumbles and drops and whatnot, still had six catches for 65 yards. And he emerged out of it with, with, you know, touchdowns in three straight games. Again, talking about, you know, when Georgia needed him against Mississippi State. He had one against Florida. He had one against Tennessee. He had a season high 94 yards in the win over, you know, a then number one ranked Tennessee team. 